Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today we're at the Hilton Shreveport Convention Center Hotel in Shreveport, Louisiana. This is a shot of the lobby and then we're going to take you up to our room. Now let's take a look around our executive suite room 818. So this is our executive suite at the Hilton Shreveport and we're going to do an overview of the room first and then we'll show you the details. This is the living room area. And we'll start with the basics. We have the evacuation plan here. Louisiana hotel laws. And we have a peephole. There's a door latch. Deadbolt. And then the first bathroom. This is typical of hotel rooms is a box of tissues. Hand soap seems to be missing. And we have a shower cap, uh, moisture infusion facial bar, and conditioner, shampoo, and body lotion. We have some towels, hot and cold running water. Nice big mirror. Toilet garbage can and we have the toilet paper there inside of this drawer we have a hair dryer some artwork on the wall I think we've seen that at other Hilton hotels before and this one actually has a bathtub rather than just a shower more towels Let's see how the shower runs Looks like a nice shower there. Looks like it's adjustable. I'm not going to fool with that though because there's really no point. That's the only way I'd ever use it. So now moving into the living area, we have another big full length mirror here. Here we have a small closet with an iron and ironing board hangers. These are actually normal size hangers. And the safe, digital safe. And here we have a door to an adjoining room. And we have a big couch. And this is a pull out couch. You could sleep two or three people on there if you needed to. Pull end tables. Nice desk. And this is a marble top here. At least some kind of solid surface. Nice bucket glasses. A little lamp. Nice large LG television. And then we have a bunch of drawers here. Empty. Suitcase stand, another garbage can. And the view out of here is the Convention Center parking garage, which is where we park. In fact, the 504 Road Trips Honda is on the roof of the parking garage, and there's a little catwalk there that takes you across the street to the hotel without having to go down the street level. You can see the casinos from here and the river. You 
Got some nice artwork on the wall in here. And we have a thermostat for the air condition. Okay, so now we're going to move on into the bedroom. And we have a nice king size bed here with a bunch of pillows. And an overview of this room. That's the main entrance. And there's another door here for yet another adjoining room. You could actually have four rooms in a row here if you wanted to pay for them. Separate AC thermostat. So you can set the temperature in here to whatever you want. It's different from what's in the next room. closet here and in the closet we have another iron and ironing board no safe in this one but I guess you don't need two and robes which is something we've never gotten in a hotel room before this one has some little proprietary hangers and this is the second bathroom which is pretty much identical to the first bathroom, except it's reversed. So in here we have this big thing. the refrigerator which is cold it's got a little freezer I don't know if you can see that because it's kind of dark here and we have a microwave Whoa. nice bucket and glasses and three dollar water and of course they gave us the free water at the front counter. I really wonder what the difference is between these two waters. Probably nothing. Another big television. Six more drawers here. are empty. Another desk with a little coffee maker, two cup coffee maker, and all the stuff that goes with the coffee maker. There's some menus. A little drawer in the desk. And we have a chair with a little table. And then the end table for the bed. More drawers with nothing in them. We have a power outlet on the lamp. Looks like all lamps have power outlets. Telephone. Alarm clock. Looks like it's got an iPod dock for the um, old style iPhone connector. They have a USB port on the lamp too. So there's a power outlet and a USB port. Drawer with the Holy Bible and some literature here. And of course the same view out the window that we have in the other room. So that's pretty much it for our room tour. So I just wanted to add that the bed was very comfortable. We got a good night's sleep. 
the showers worked well, the room was comfortable, the climate control worked really well, and we highly recommend this hotel. On the way out, this is a Starbucks in the lobby. So you have Starbucks coffee right down on the ground floor. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, comment below. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And join us for our next 504 road trip.